lately I'm into organic modeling, like these assets over here. And I found an add-on that can also be useful, that is the fiber add-on. And I made this fiber ball over here and another one. But to use the add-on, there are a few things that need some attention. So let's check how that works. I enabled the add-on in a workspace where I collect my uh, funny add-ons. Uh, Fun 2 is already full, so I made a new workspace and there is then the fiber add-on. So I will hide the EV Express for now, so we don't need that. I add cube, shift A, M, C. Uh, grab set, for example, no, grab set one. Then uh, we go over to this tab. Then you see bounce fibers. If you click on this, it will make um, a fiber object of it. Now the thing is that the fiber add-on puts it somewhere in one of the collection you have already. So we we'll have to take a look where it is. It's not there, not there, not there, oops, okay, not there. Um, maybe we have to activate it a little bit by changing parameters. And there I found it, I drag it over here, so we have it all together. I can turn that off or not. Um, no, let's turn it on. So then, um, we have to select this cube. We go to the bounce fibers, and now we can work with um, the parameters over here. So the number of bounces, uh, sub-steps, I don't know exactly what they are doing. But, and then we have some uh, random settings. For me, it doesn't matter much. Again. Just uh, check this thickness, that's an uh, important one for me. And then heat offset might be handy, but I don't use it often. I use it just number of bounces and thickness, usually. So I think this is nice, maybe we can put a tiny bit thicker. Then I select uh, this, go to object convert to mesh because they are all curves then uh, we can get rid of this one and that will drop down because that cube was apparent we can drag it back if we want then we go to this object data tab then to remesh a voxel you can put it on 0.05 for example, or a bit higher, voxel remesh. Then we get rid of the wireframe because that's what the fiber add-on is doing. It enables under viewport display the wireframe. We turn it off. Right click on the object, shade smooth. Then we have this. Um, we can add quickly a material. UV unwrap. Uh, I like to use this one. Not sure where it's coming from. I think text tools. Yeah. box. Then uh, uh, material. We go to my material workspace. Um, in this case, I'm going to use the extreme PBR. I'm not sure what extreme is for, but um, is that extre extreme PBR? Or, um, anyway, so um, I go to rock, I think, no, rock 2. I like this one. I enable these maps to view specular roughness normal. I uh, have to create first a material, so I see this button over here. I click um, refresh. And I scroll down and 
turn on some specularity normal map maybe let's check then let's enable these things over here and grab it a little bit up go to the EV Express in my case at compositor nodes press 0 camera settings lock the view so unlock the view shift right click at that field render render image let's check what we have there all right yeah that's quite good we see here um, something that we can easily get rid of that just in case you have the EV Express add-on so we render out again and there we have it um, was there something more no that was it. so I will put the link in the comments to the fiber mesh and maybe some links more oh yeah to the to the, to the assets I made over here and maybe the EV Express if you are interested in that. Alright, thanks for watching.